I-25 and Lincoln. Dale Cedar, 7 News. All right, Dale, thanks very much. And, of course, the snow is uh, causing some problems, too, with our signal, signal coming from Dale and her live truck down there. It looks okay right there, but it goes in and out. Sometimes the snow sits up on the equipment and it causes some problems. That is why you saw the picture coming in and going out. Our apologies for that. Of course, we'll try to get things straightened out. Get Dale up there with a broom. But even though it may not feel like it today, of course, springtime is really right around the corner. And once things begin to warm up, more and more people will be spending more time outside. And joining us this morning is Dr. Sean Allen from Dermatology Specialist of Boulder. Of course, today, uh, this may not be the perfect day to talk about this, but summertime, springtime, obviously, is here. Summertime, though, we're going to be outside. It's a great time to give people a heads up about skin cancer. That's right. So, you know, skin cancer is the most common cancer that will afflict a human. So we need to keep that in mind. One out of every five Americans will develop a skin cancer in their lifetime. And one out of every two Americans over the age of 65 will be diagnosed with a skin cancer. So there's you know, several different types of skin cancers that we talk about and, and ways to look for signs and symptoms of those. Well, what should we look for? What are some of the telltale signs? So the, the, starting with sort of the melanoma, the, the big bad skin cancer that people always think about, we go with the ABCDs of melanoma, and that's sort of a simple mnemonic to remember. A is asymmetry. B, our borders are irregular, sort of like a cloudy edge. C is the color is irregular. It's a little brown. It might have some blue or gray in it. And D is diameter, bigger than a pencil tip eraser. That's about six millimeters. So those are signs of changes in moles that, that we need to worry about. And any moles that are changing on your body should also be seen by a dermatologist. Those are some of the main things to look for in those. And, and then they, we can talk about basal cells and squamous cells. Those are the really more common type of skin cancers. Some are less life-threatening, but they still can be aggressive skin cancers. And those usually look like acne bumps that don't go away after three weeks. They might be scaly little flaky areas on the face. Had a patient the other day who said he thought it was an ingrown hair that he had and it turned out to be a skin cancer. So anything that doesn't go after, way, after a couple of weeks that's new and different, that should be seen by a dermatologist. You have to have the professional look at it, of course. But it does pay to do that self-examination as you get a little older. Absolutely. I think, you know, doing a self-examination once a month, if you have a lot of moles, sometimes that's hard to do on the back. You might need to actually come in, see a dermatologist who might take a digital picture, have a way of really monitoring the spots that are hard to find. But self-examinations are really important. Patients are usually the ones who come in and say, what's this spot? And then we diagnose the skin cancer. But truthfully, the patients are the ones that are aware that something's different. On a, uh, again, on a day like today, we don't have to worry too much. Everybody's covered up and there's not much sun out there. But what can we do? I mean, what are some of the simple things? We talk about this time and time again, and yeah. people constantly break the rules. Right. So th I think everybody needs to remember that skin cancers aren't perfect. They may have high SPS, but they're not perfect. So protecting yourself from the sun by wearing protective clothing, avoiding the sun between the hours of 10 and 4 are really important. And you want to also make sure that you're using a sunscreen when you do with zinc oxide. And that's really sort of one of the main ingredients that will protect you. So a high SPF of you know, 30 to 50 and a good uh, ingredient in there like zinc and titanium, those do very well for protecting you. And of course, Jim, on days like today, you actually are getting UVA exposure. Uh, through the clouds, so uh, you are still getting some exposure to those damaging rays. Yeah, I stand corrected. Whenever you are outside, you really yeah. have to be careful, and it, uh, sure. it does pay to cover up in many ways. Yep. Dr. Sean Allen, thanks so much. Of course, if you, you have any skin question, questions for the doctor, you can email them to uh, weekendmornings at denverchannel.com, and we will answer your questions next month coming up. You can also find a link to the Dermatology Specialist of Boulder, Dr. Allen's practice. That is at the Denver Channel. Dot com as well. And still to come here on 7 News on